We're here today to talk about balls. Welcome back to another mediocre painting with me, Wayne. We're here today to talk about stainless steel shakers from AK. A lot of companies make these. I wouldn't buy the Scale 75 ones because I use some and they all rusted. These are the ones that I like to use the most right now are the uh, AK stainless steel shakers. They're the most bang for the buck because they come in at about 650 for, there's about 200 in here, I think is what the, the bottle says. For those of you that don't know what they are, um, you drop them inside your paint bottle and they help agitate the paint. I don't know if you can hear that thing clicking around in there or not, but it helps to obviously stir the paint up. It's like, it's like the ball that's inside your uh, spray paint can. I saw a video recently from a fella uh, who told people don't buy these things, that they're a waste of money, and instead go out to your garden and grab some rocks or something and use little rocks to uh, agitate your paint. And I took that shit personally. So I'm just going to replace all the rocks in my garden with these stainless steel balls. So how about that? How about that, cheap man? But anyway, no, for real though, um, for the time that you would take, like finding alternate agitators like that, you could just spend $6 and like put 200 of these in 200 different paint bottles that you have. Anyway, to each their own, your mileage may vary. Um, we sell another line um, that's actually glass bead agitators for doing this as well. I think they're from either Cromlock or, Cromlock or Max Mini. We have those in the shop as well. Um, the glass ones are nice because you never, ever, ever have to worry about this coating ever being bad or, or rusting inside your paint bottle. You don't with these anyway. Um, but the problem I have with the glass ones is they're not heavy enough for certain paints to agitate. Uh, now, thinner paints um, like Vallejo, you can throw them in there. They work fine all day. But some of your thicker paint lines like oh, Scale 75... Um, it just doesn't have the ass, if you know what I mean, to, uh, to agitate that paint. Cause that's a steel ball in there. You can hear rolling around and it works really well, but these are obviously very thick paints. So that's why I prefer the stainless steel, um, balls from AK. I'm going to say balls again, balls from AK. Um, certain paint lines like ammo of MIG, they come with a steel shaker ball already inside them. You can hear it rattling around in there. Um, that's another reason I really like this paint line because they're thoughtful like that and put that ball in there already so you don't have to add these. But I seriously, I put these in everything. They work really well with the contrast paints because the contrast separates out so bad. Throw that steel shaker in there and you don't have to worry about it. So I might have a problem, I don't know. Um, I love these. I recommend them to everybody uh, to use them. Uh, that way you just get better, better mixtures. And you especially want these if you're using army painter paints because that binder and army painter paints like just separates incredibly bad. So you need some sort of agitation to get those things to mix. Um, otherwise you're just painting with binder and the pigments all on the bottom of the bottle. But anyway, um, AK steel shaker balls. These are an absolutely great investment. We're not sponsored by our AK, but I'd like to be. Hit me up. Um, use these. Don't go digging in your flower bed for small rocks. You have better things to do with your time. Um, yeah, five out of five stars. Never had a problem with these. I've been using them for probably three or four years now. I've never had any of these rust ever. And that's great. AK stainless steel shaker balls. Use them. If you guys want to see more reviews from us, hit that subscribe button. We'll be trying to post something at least bi-weekly. Anyway, thanks.